Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another in and out video because it's already again the end of the month. So let's talk about everything that I got this month and everything that I decluttered in March. I decluttered my hair. So the first thing actually, similar to I think six months ago or so, a few pebbles. I just picked them up from the ground and my idea is to make some kind of jewelry out of it. But first I'm like collecting a few pebbles to see when I have two or three that I really, really like and actually want to make something out of. Now, yes, this is free. Now, yes, this might be considered trash or nature or whatever. Uh, it's still in my apartment now, so I'm showing it to you. I'm gonna keep it and afterwards declutter everything I'm, I'm not using. Then as many other months, I walked by a public bookshelf and picked up some books that I wanted to read. This one. I'm talking more about them when I've actually read them. This one and this one. Two of them I've already read. I'm going to talk about them in a second. But the last thing that has come into my life... <laughs> I prefer headphones with cables, but this is it, right? This is the problem with them is new headphones. I got them secondhand. They were like not used for five euros. And I do hope they're gonna be useful in my life from now on because I still have a phone with like a headphone jack and I also use my headphones at my laptop. So I really prefer these over Bluetooth ones because I don't need to like charge them. They're always connected. It's just way easier. Because honestly, I was thinking about buying like expensive ones, but I just didn't find any that I really liked. So I went for the cheap ones. Because honestly, for me, it's really difficult finding um, headphones that fit into my ears. And I kind of still want small ones and not big ones when I'm traveling. And they just barely fit in. I don't know. It's the best I could find. And we're going to see if someday I'm going to find the perfect pair, like high quality earphones. And then, then I'm going to buy those. But why did I buy new headphones? Because the old ones are trash now. So I've had them for, I think, four years and like at some point they, there's just some wear and tear. And then six months ago, one of the like headphones actually broke. So for the past six months, I just had one and this one is broken too. Like it doesn't, it's, it's not fitting together correctly anymore. And then we have a cable that's like completely um, falling apart as well and they're just dirty and this one's falling apart as well. Obviously it's just a case for trash and I think after four years that's totally fine, especially also because I bought those secondhand as well for one euro. And um, yeah, talking about like cost per use, this is amazing. I kind of didn't pay for headphones for the past four years while other people I know paid like 500 euros because they needed multiple pair of like Bluetooth headphones. So that's kind of amazing, even though what I just said, they're not the perfect solution, but they're better than paying a lot of money for something that's also not the perfect solution. So they, they will go. Now let's talk about the books I read. I'm not really sure what happened this month, but I don't even have all of the books here, but I read nine books in total. And first I'm going to talk about the books that I already have here with me and then I'm going to talk about the books that I don't have with me. I try to keep it short. So this one is a book by I think a kind of a famous uh, maybe TV person in Germany. I'm going to link the books down below for you to check them out. But it's about like depression and just kind of mental health and finding out that you maybe need help and getting help. And some of it I didn't like because I couldn't really relate to the main character, the way she was thinking. But on the other hand, I think it was a good example of just showing how important therapy medication sometimes and yeah, that just mental health is important. So I did enjoy it, but it's not my favorite book. Then, this one is one of the books I just showed you as well. It's um, Marrying Buddha. Um, it's from a Chinese author and she has another very, very famous book called Shanghai Baby. Um, I liked it. It's about her life, her love life, her sex life, um, her friends. 
And it was just like a quick read. Um, I enjoyed kind of understanding how she thinks. And it's kind of, I think it's partly auto biography so there's some of her story in there but the character doesn't have her name so i did enjoy reading this i don't want to read it a second time so as most of the books it will just go back to an open bookshelf like to where everyone can take it if they want to read it but it was a good book then another book that i've had for a few months now i also put, picked it up in that same public bookshelf where i got the three books this month um Nachts ist es leise in Teheran, which kind of means uh, at night it's silent in Teheran. It's about some of the story of Iran and it's heartbreaking. It was really interesting. It was like the story of different generations. And so that's also adding to the interest. So I did also really enjoy reading this. And then we have a book that I bought at the English book sale a few months ago, I think in November. History is all you left me. And I think it's kind of a young adult romance, maybe. It's um, a gay couple and it's heartbreaking and beautiful. And I also just really, really enjoyed reading this. I think I read this in like 24 hours, a bit more than 24 hours, maybe. But then I also read books from the library. And this one is one I read this month. It's also about the history of Iran. And it's really interesting because it's super new. So there's also everything that kind of happened in 2022, at least covered here. Um, and it really, really helped that I read this one first before I read the other one about Iran, because then I could understand more. And just reading two books, it just, just kind of made sense because some things are complicated. I can't like remember every single name and what happened in which revolution and... and but it really helped reading two books and then I kind of had different perspectives on the same things happening and that was interesting but heartbreaking, horrible, disgusting as well. But that's reality and I think it's also good to know that and to be informed and books are kind of my favorite way to do that because like this I can actually remember what I read and it's kind of more nuanced than reading just news or something like that but then of course news also has a place that is really important but i i really like reading books on certain historical or also current social things and events and 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 people and problems because i think it really helps to understand then actually i followed the author on instagram and i know that she uh, had made this book and I just found it in my library and I thought I wanted to read it. It's Nicht doch ein coaching Buch, which means um, not another coaching book. Um, and it's about kind of, the, the subtitle says, über eine Industrie, die mit Manipulation Milliarden scheffelt, indem sie mit der Psyche von Menschen spielt. It's kind of about an industry that makes a lot of money while manipulating um, and just, you know, brainwashing people, basically. Um, and yeah, it's a lot about like the problems of the coaching industry and that a lot of people are not qualified that are trying to sell you stuff and that are making stuff worse sometimes. Like they're actually not good for your mental health and you're spending thousands, if not ten thousands of euros for stuff that's going to make you worse and that's not going to help. And it's a problem. And this is about this. This is a bit more lighthearted. This is also a person I've like followed on YouTube. She had like a YouTube channel about psychology. It's a date and it's about online dating and kind of navigating the online dating without losing your mind. And it's a lot about like studies and things that could help you potentially uh, be a bit more effective and uh, use it while online dating and now I'm not online dating but I like the subject like I I think it's super interested how attraction works and how relationship works and communication and getting to know each other and things like that so I enjoyed reading it a lot actually I've also talked about it in the podcast with Paulina because she is online dating and we did talk a lot about her dating um experiences in this podcast so as you know the podcast is down below and it would mean a lot to me if you checked it out if you haven't already and then on top of these books i've also read two more books from my library i will put them up here so you know how they look and um let me try to remember oh yeah one of them was 
Deutschland rechts außen, which means like Germany far right. Um, and it's about like politics and what happened kind of in Germany. And if, if there's really more far right people now than a few years ago and kind of just the dangers and the problems with the politically far right people and how to make sure that we as a society can, you know, not discriminate against people, not be racist and stuff like that. So that was really interesting, but also a bit depressing because honestly, it's like a difficult subject and, and we do have problems as in many other countries in Europe and all over the world as well with like far right politic, political people that are just uh, making life of so many people worse. And the last book I read, I have to look at my notes. So the last one was Alte Weiße Männer, which means old white men, and it's by like a feminist uh, person in from Germany. And she just did interviews with men, with white men, and they talked about what does it mean being an old white man and are they old white men? Um, and kind of about this word. But then on the other hand, what I didn't like about it is that some of them, some of the men I just really didn't like. They were they just kind of really fit into the description of old white men and what they were saying was just problematic in my opinion. So it was an interesting book, it's an interesting concept, but not my favorite book. So I read a lot this month. Let's see how did this continues and how um, much I want to read next month. Um, that also means I didn't watch a lot of K-dramas because that's what I usually did more of when I did less reading. Also, I did less like knitting. But actually, I do have one K-drama that I want to recommend to you because there's one I watched and that I really enjoyed. And it's Dr. Slump. I think the title is terrible and it just sounds weird, but it's really nice and it's um, available on Netflix and it's about mental health and friendship and love and... Now someone is mowing the lawn, even though that's absolutely ne not necessary at that time of the year. It's just like loud and annoying and I hate it. So if you wanted to give K-dramas a shot, I think that one would be a good one to start maybe. Um, of course, there's also stuff I maybe didn't like about it, but overall, I think it was really good and really uh, showed how mental health and being there for each other can be a really good thing. What else happened this month? Well, obviously I shaved my head again and um, I was looking forward to that a lot. And then when I was actually doing it, I was a bit nervous, but now I'm also just really, really happy with it again because it's just so easy to care for. And I actually like this haircut. I'm really interested to see what it does to my style because last time I remember it made me not want to wear certain things anymore because I thought I looked, disproportional with them and I do have a similar feeling this time but I do have different clothes for most part and so I'm just curious let's see what happens apart from that I wanted to talk about something and now I forgot ah last month I mentioned that I want to maybe do a no buy and I've still haven't completely decided but this month I'm really, really happy that there was just like one thing coming into my life, like the headphones and the three books, they are gonna be decluttered in no time again, because two of them I've already decluttered again. Um, and I just realized that with this month already of not much stuff coming into my life, I feel so much better. Now, I'm not sure how much of it is because I want to be maybe even overly in control of my life, like how much of that would be healthy then, but on the other hand, I just think it makes sense. Like, why not? It's good to not consume that much. It's good because it's more sustainable. It saves me more money and it is less of a, less of a headache later on because the things I don't buy, I never need to declutter or find a place for or clean. And so I'm actually content with being happy with not having so many new things coming into my life. And I do hope it will continue this way because I just feel better. My consumption comfort zone is small and I'm okay with it being small. So I do want to consume just a small amount of things each year. So let's see. But I think with that, 
we're at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it also always just means a lot if you watch these videos because I know this is like the core audience I have here, it feels like. And I still do want to link your video here that you can check out now if you're interested. And otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video. Also, thank you to my patrons. Goodbye.